Hi, this is Eric Horn with Board Game Geek. I'm here at Luke Warren from North Star Games looking at Evolution in the Beginning, uh, which came out as a Target exclusive, I think, 2016. Yes. And is now available yeah, in the hobby market. Yeah, it's now available in the hobby market. It's uh, still available at Target as well. Okay. And it's, uh, you know, the base game Evolution, which came out in 2014, I would say it's a medium weight strategy game. And what we really wanted was um, another form of the game that could be played with more casual players, families, people sort of just getting into the system. That's right. Streamline the number of traits and possibilities. Right. For yeah. So the card interaction is a more streamlined and you don't have species boards with body sizes and things like that. So um, all the carnivore actions is a lot easier. And every round you do the exact same thing. So we fuse the feeding phase with the card playing phase. Okay. So you don't have different phases of the game. Okay. Uh, so it's very simple. Uh, the, again, the concept is you're building out an ecosystem and you're trying to eat the most food. So a successful uh, the player who wins is going to have uh, eaten, uh, count up all his food and the number of tr cards you have out. Like how big is your ecosystem okay. is essentially what we're measuring. So uh, on your turn, it's a, a very easy. You take two food from the food bank, you put it in the watering hole. This is what you have to eat from unless you're a carnivore. You get one free species. So this is what a species looks like. It's just a card and it's got a little symbol there for the food. Okay, right there, okay? So, and then you draw three cards. So every, t every player, every turn is gonna do the exact same thing. And then you can decide to play these as traits, okay? So let's say I wanted to be a scavenger. I could play the scavenging trait. And let's say I wanted some defense. Let's say I wanted to be nocturnal. Now a carnivore would have to have nocturnal to be able to get to my species. And then let's say I had a population. So now I have to feed both of these. Luckily I have two food, I can do that. And now I take my food and I put it in my bag. Um, I've scored those, those are banked points. I have those for the end of the game. It would go to you, you do the exact same thing. So you would get a species, you put two food in the middle, and you draw three cards. And you can bank cards for later. Yes, so cards in your hand game. actually count for scoring at the end of the game. Uh, you can hold traits that you want to use later. You can become a carnivore, and a carnivore eats other species. They don't eat the plant food. Uh, and they have to get around the defenses of, of the uh, right. other species. So making carnivore makes no sense because I have no one to eat. Right, you I can't get this guy unless you have nocturnal. And then I would just starve. And then you would just starve. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and this, it keeps going around, so it's very fast paced because there's only so many things you can do every turn. You're only drawing three cards. So uh, the decisions are pretty quick. And uh, yeah, it's very interactive because carnivores show up and, and you know they start eating you, then you switch out your defenses. Scavengers will get food anytime carnivores attack. You can put horns on your creature, which uh, makes, makes the carnivore lose population if they attack you. So there's a, a lot of cool interaction in the game, but it, again, it's very streamlined from the original evolution process. It's $24.99. Uh, again, ages, I think, eight plus uh, is what we're calling for this. Yeah. So it's, again, it's great for families, kind of teach kids the basics of adaptation and, uh, you know, evolution. And then you can get into the more advanced versions uh, later, climate, flight, so on and so forth. There are expansions right. to evolution. All right. There you go. Thank you. All right. Thank you.